welcome to the optical communication course so we have seen a attenuation yesterday and that attenuation of your signal or the light rays propagating through the fiber it is depending upon that length of the fiber means we say that for a given particular fiber that length is depend length is important factor to find out the how much is the attenuation there and again another thing is what we need to know about what composition of a material is used what are their impurities in the given particular fiber core and uh, whether it has a what type of atoms or molecules and that atoms or molecules have how much percentage of a oxygen or how that o2 molecule or uh, whichever we have we can say that chromium or a copper what type of a material it is used in the particular fiber so that material composition we say that that attenuations or you can say that that uh, because of that there will be a dispersion or there will be the attenuation now your signal get attenuated because of that composition of metal is used or signal gate may have the dispersion and uh, because of that metal is used so dispersion they have two types that is we can say it is about the intrinsic or extrinsic dispersion there so we say that here what will be the length of the fiber so that your attenuation will be increased or decreased there so that is depending upon that length and we have say that there may be a losses because of that connector or a joint or there may be a splicing losses joint means nothing but a joining this two particular fiber that is about a splicing losses so with this we consider one numerical so that you will understand clearly how this attenuation takes place only one in numerical and then we'll continue with the what will be the attenuation due to the materials and all one example if you consider that here i'm just writing when the mean optical power when the mean optical power launched into mean optical power launch into an 8 km length an 8 km length of fiber of fiber is 120 micrometer microwatt okay not uh, that is not a well link to that is power 120 microwatt the mean optical power the mean optical power at the fiber is at the fiber is the microwatt now then determine it mind a the overall signal attenuation the overall signal attenuation or a loss or loss in decibel decibel through the fiber to the fiber assuming assuming there are no connectors or splices assuming there are no connectors or splices means it is about no connector there and no splices second 
the signal attenuation per kilometer attenuation per kilometer for the fiber then C the overall signal attenuation overall signal attenuation for a 10 kilometer optical link using the same fiber with splice splices at splices at 1 kilometer intervals at 1 kilometer intervals each having an attenuation each having an attenuation of 1 dB Okay, means that splice gives the one dB of a attenuation there. Then the last one, the numerical input public output ratio. Okay, that is whatever the ratio we have. That is from we can say that from that this theta okay so now this this statement in this statement if you see that a power launch into an 8 kilometer length of the fiber that is about the length a optical power launch in an 8 kilometer of a length of fiber this is about the length of the power that optical fiber is 120 microwatt means we say that this one is nothing but the input power, 120 microwatt, and the mean optical power at the fiber. Okay, this mean optical power at the fiber means this is nothing but what a output. This one is about the input. This one is about the output. Now first is about what we need to find out a the overall signal attenuation or loss in a decibel. This our aim is about to find out the loss or attenuation in decibel through the fiber assuming there are no connectors or a splices there. So attenuation that is about a signal attenuation is depending upon that a length of the fiber. So given data here given data that we are we have this 8 kilometer length of the fiber then we have the input power that is of 120 microwatt then we have the power output of a 3 microwatt now if you consider this particular term that is length is about the 8 kilometer so our aim is about to find out a what will be the signal attenuation that is the overall signal attenuation or loss in decibels through the fiber assuming there are no connectors or a splice. No connectors or a splice means what? So this we have a fiber here. This one is about a length of the fiber, and that length of the fiber is about the 8 kilometer of a length. It is of the 8 kilometer length. And for this 8 kilometer of a length, that fiber is just straight and it doesn't have any splice splicing losses. Or there is no connector in between this total 8 kilometer length of the fiber. So our aim is about to find out the attenuation. Simply we say that the signal attenuation or only attenuation, okay, that is equal to what? A 10 log of how much will be the input power and how much will be the output power there. So if you solve it. 
if you solve it, so that will give us the 10 log of what the term we have. That is 120 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 6. And this is about a signal attenuation. That signal attenuation means what? A, this is about a factor of attenuation, but with respect to the length. So signal attenuation with respect to the particular length. Because we say that the alpha dB, this attenuation is per length. So we need to find out how much is the attenuation. That is not per length, only the attenuation. If we wanted to find out the per length, then we have to divide this length there. So then we'll get that attenuation per whatever the dB, dB per kilometer there. So here, if you solve it, we are getting that a 60 dB is of the attenuation there. So now we are getting that attenuation value that is 16 dB into whatever the length. In the next case, the signal attenuation per kilometer. Okay, this one signal attenuation per kilometer means we need to find out only alpha dB that is per kilometer. So that is nothing but what we know that that alpha dB into L is equal to what is 16 dB. So our aim is about to find out that signal attenuation in terms of a dB there. Okay, this is about attenuation factor. So 16 by L. So it gives us the values of what that L is nothing but what this is about 8 now. And that will be nothing but what a 2 kilometer. That is about sorry 2 dB per kilometer. Okay, that is about your attenuation. That is about a 2 dB per kilometer. So we can find out this attenuation per kilometer. Here, this is only the signal attenuation or a loss, and this one is about the attenuation per kilometer. Then, a third is about the overall at signal attenuation for a 10 kilometer of optical link. Is here that optical link is given and that length of this particular fiber is about a 10 kilometer link using the same fiber which is splices at one kilometer interval which our after every one kilometer of intervals there will be a alternation signal alternation and that signal alternation is of a 1 dB then we need to figure out the statement here so we have the fiber and that fiber is of what optical fiber we say it is of a 10 kilometer of a length okay so you can say that one here one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is about 10 means this one is about your optical fiber one kilometer length two kilometer length means at every interval at every interval of one kilometer each interval, there will be a splicing. Okay, there may be a splicing, and that splicing is of what a one dB of a loss. This is nothing but what a splicing loss. Splicing means what we have a fiber. Okay, we have a fiber, so we need to connect. <coughs> this two fiber we need to connect this two fiber so how to connect this two fiber since it is made up of a glass or a fiber so we can use a connector to connect this two fiber or we need to use a splicing technique splicing technique is what we need to heat here heat this two end so we can join these two particular fiber okay so this is about a joining these two particular fiber that is nothing but a splicing. So while joining these two fiber, there may be a loss. That loss is about 1 dB. Now here it is given that in a statement, the overall signal attenuation for a 10 kilometer optical link 
using the same fiber which is splices at a 1 km of a interval. Each having an attenuation of a 1 dB each. <coughs> so means for every splicing, there will be attenuation of a 1 dB. Okay, now the length of the fiber is about a total is about a 10 km. For this 10 km of a length, is about a 1 km, 2 km, 3 km, likewise, we say that we have the fiber of a 10 km of a length there. And for each and every place, there is a splicing. Now, if you calculate that, if you find that, how many splicing we require? For this 10 km of a length, we require a 9 splicing. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, and 9. These are the 9 splices we are using. Means 9 joints. We say that there are the 9 splices or a 9 joints of the given particular fiber. Now, this says that we have the a fiber and that fiber has a 9 splices there. 9 splices of each and every. 1 kilometer of interval. So, from this, we can find out how much is the alternation takes place. So, in an earlier example, if you see that, we obtain that alternation that is about a 2 dB per kilometer. Means the fiber is having the alternation of a 2 dB per kilometer. So, we can consider that alternation, that alternation in terms of a dB here, that alternation is about a 2 dB per kilometer and that 2 dB per kilometer in a what what will be the that is about a 10 kilometer long okay 10 kilometer long fiber if you consider that a 10 kilometer long fiber there for this given attenuation so then we can find out the signal attenuation signal attenuation is nothing but into a length so this length we have to find out how much is the length here now that length is about a 10 now so that is about a 2 into 10 we get that a signal alternation is about a 20 dB signal alternation is of a 20 dB then this is about a this alternation is about the overall length this value of alternation we are getting for the overall length of fiber overall length of the fiber but there are the splices of 1 kilometer interval and they have the loss of a 1 dB so if you calculate that how many splices we require from in a 10 kilometer of length of fiber there are the 9 splices so splices at each 1 kilometer of a interval okay Due to the splices, due to the splices at each one kilometer length, at each one kilometer of a length, has loss of what? One dB each. Okay, has loss of a one dB. So for this ten kilometer length of fiber, there are the nine splices. There are the nine splices. So that's why. A total signal alternation, you can say that we can find out a signal alternation is equal to that is about a, what will be the total loss for the 10 kilometer of length of fiber and for there are the 9 splices, so that's why there is no loss of what a 9 dB, 1 dB each, so that's why 9 dB, so that's why it is about a 29 dB of a total lost total attenuation this is nothing but what a signal attenuation that will be for a total now total that we consider that total with a what we can consider that is about a, a splice or total loss of fiber with a splice now so that is about a 29 of a db so here that third term now the fourth term the numerical input output ratio from this Numerical input output ratio 
we need to find out so from this c now so that is about a numerical ratio or a numerical values numerical values is equal that we can say that if pi by that is about generally we say that is about if pi by input we can say that output we say that and that will be nothing but what 10 to the power of 29 by 10 okay that will be nothing but a 794.3 so now how this numerical value come because we say that earlier that is about we have that <coughs> signal attenuation is about what a 10 log of pi by p out if you solve further here so we'll get that eh? signal attenuation with respect to that particular ratio that is about a p in by p out here that is about a 790 that is about your attenuation portion okay that is about a attenuation part that we have learned now next about we need to consider we'll continue the next discussion with respect to the what will be the uh, loss due to the material there okay these are about the just like we have considered the attenuations and all so next about the absorption we say that the absorption now we study here the absorption so for this absorption we need to consider that what material we are using so that's why we can say that a word that is about a <coughs> material absorption with absorption due to the material absorption due to the material means what because of that material there will be a loss that loss of what that loss of a signal due to the material due to the material absorption loss will be occur inside the fiber why this loss is occur because there is a different comp composition of a material there are the different composition of a material because of the different various composition of a material there will be a, a loss of a fiber means that is about a material composition you can use that <coughs> core and cladding okay so there may be a material we can say that silica or a glass so in that case that composition gives the <coughs> loss again another is about what that is a at the time of a fabrication there that is at the time of a fabrication of a given particular fiber that absorption takes place that is nothing but a loss so now absorption means what means whichever the signal propagating through the fiber <coughs> that is about a light is propagating through the fiber just like we say this is about a light is propagating through the fiber not some particular instant or some particular point it's supposed to be the material composition <coughs> not perfect at that particular point because at the time of manufacturing we are expecting ideally that core of a given particular fiber <coughs> okay that core of a fiber has a constant refractive index if it is a tape index fiber then a constant composition is to be there but what happened at the time of manufacturing or because of that material composition so that 
internal structure of that fiber may change and because of that the absorption of a signal or absorption of a light will be takes place inside the fiber means absorption takes place means what at that particular moment but that that particular material composition or that particular place when that light reaches the signal gate absorbed or attenuated there when it will be attenuated so that's why what happened that fiber gate heated <coughs> means your light is propagating through the fiber so due to the absorption of that light that fiber gate heated okay that due to the absorption of that particular light that fiber is get heated means what whatever the transmitted power whatever the transmitted power that in the form of a light will get absorbed inside the fiber means that light rays or a power launch that will be transferred in the form of a heat there in the fiber core so that absorption of a light or material absorption we say that is depending upon that <clears throat> a material and that because of that material we can say that there are the two types of a absorption that types two types of absorption is what one is about we can say a intrinsic absorption and another is about a extrinsic absorption now the <coughs> intrinsic absorption means what it is about the that a composition of a material okay composition of a material that is nothing but we can consider supposed to be this is about a glass one or we can say that a material composition of that particular core is made up of the glass material or we can consider the any material now for example now. so in that case what happen because of that composition of this particular material it is made up of a glass or what and that glass composition or that particular material okay and they have the properties of what absorption at some particular wavelength means that composition or some of the component of this particular glass material okay this glass material whenever the rays propagating through it okay or that light propagating through the fiber <clears throat> that light will be absorbed by this glass material okay one of the component of this particular glass or this particular component of the material there means it is called as a intrinsic absorption it is just like a <clears throat> whichever the fiber core material is used and that fiber core material has <coughs> absorption is takes place because of that fiber core material so that is called as the intrinsic absorption and extrinsic absorption means what while manufacturing the fiber we say that it is made up of a glass okay it is made up of a glass but supposed to be this glass has some impurity okay this glass has some impurities we consider here the pure glass pure material and inside that material pure material here intrinsic absorption now this intrinsic absorption means was so some of the components of this particular glass material okay some of the components of this <laughs> particular glass material when your signal interacted with this particular component okay of this particular glass material then your signal get absorbed okay and here and in extrinsic one in an extrinsic absorption that glass have some impurities the glass has some impurities because of that impurities in a glass 
that signal gets absorbed. So that is about the extrinsic absorption. Now this we will learn here <coughs> what are the various material used in the absorptions and all. We'll go further here. <coughs> We can consider here the intrinsic absorption and then we see that what will be the material and what happened to the glass thing, glass material there. Okay, that is about a core of a fiber. Now in intrinsic absorption, what happened? Even if we are using a pure glass or <coughs> That is a mixture of a silica and all. So that's why you can say that a pure silicate glass. Okay. Even if there is a pure silicate glass, so you they have the intrinsic absorption. Okay. We say that it is even if it is a pure one, there will be an intrinsic absorption, and that intrinsic absorption is due to its material structure. This one is about it silica glass and there will be the material structure of this particular this particular glass there. Because of that material structure, they have the absorption. That absorption is what? In the near infrared region. The near infrared region. Now we have seen earlier that is about the absolute uh, attenuation windows and all. This one is about a we see here there are about the first window, second window, and third window. There we have seen, and this one is about a spectral width, or that much will be the length <coughs> that is a wavelength here. Okay, that if we can say that 800 to something 900 something. Or here we are saying that a 1300 to 1350 something and here we are saying that a 1500 to the 1650 something that is about the nanometer length of this particular window so means your source will operate in this particular region we say that they have the low attenuation because we say that a composition of a material will work efficiently in this given particular region <coughs> okay, composition of this particular material will work in this given particular window there. So now in this case of a <coughs> absorption here, there is the intrinsic absorption at a near infrared. Even if that glass is a pure one, but they have the absorptions at the near infrared region. Okay, they have the absorptions at the near infrared region. So means at what optical wavelength, okay, at what optical wavelength that absorption is taken place. So we consider the absorption windows <coughs> in that particular absorption window, we consider that here these are about the attenuation here. And these are about the different windows. So similarly for a given material or a material composition, they have the specific absorption window. And that absorption windows, if you consider that here, think uh, this one, we say that is about the attenuation spectra for the intrinsic loss mechanism and here we have the photon of energy this one is about a photon of energy and this one is about the attenuation there. and if you consider that the attenuation and this photon of energy means that that will be the input signal level or energy there and we have the attenuation for that particular energy level and then here <coughs> that is about the wavelength now if you consider here this what is the what it says that 
if supposed to be fiber is having that much photon of energy okay that much of a photon energy at that particular wavelength at a respective wavelength they have the attenuation <coughs> means we consider that a fiber propagating a signal and that signal get attenuated based on the what will be the energy and what will be the wavelength there so based on this <coughs> energy and wavelength so we can say that a signal get attenuated inside the particular fiber now this one says that a absorption takes place that is about ultraviolet absorption because of this particular photon of energy and we say that that wavelength is about what window is about what <clears throat> we can say that a 1 micrometer to the 10 micrometer okay that's about your wavelength and here a infrared absorption this one is about infrared absorption takes place it starts from what we can say it is about a 1.5 something to the 1.8 something of a wavelength so this is a, this one is about the absorption if you cal calculate that a total loss for this silicate glass okay this is about a GO2 SiO2 glass this is graph for what a pure GO2 SiO2 glass one and they have the ultraviolet absorption for the given range of a wavelength and they have the infrared absorption for the given range of a wavelength <coughs> and and this one is about a realized scattering realized scattering means what your signal gets scattered inside a fiber means here suppose if you consider the fiber there so now your light is propagating through the fiber always we consider the core now at some particular point of okay at some particular point suppose to be there is a defect at this particular point inside the material so what happened that signal get scattered or suppose to be defect at this particular boundary is occur the signal come here and then it will scatter now that is nothing but a, a scattering and that scattering occurs or that scattering depends upon the how much is the photon of energy transmitted okay that scattering is depending upon that the material we say again it is depending upon that how much is the light propagating through the fiber how much is the input power level okay how much is the input power level so because of that a scattering will be text -based. So this graph indicating the various absorptions or attenuation for a given wavelength and that attenuation can be minimized by using the suitable core and cladding material okay suitable core and cladding material so this graph can be this loss can be minimized now this is about a graph for GO2 and SiO2 material. If we are using a different material other than that, so that attenuation at respective wavelength will be different. So if you are looking for working in this particular wavelength, so then below that there will be ultraviolet absorption, above that there will be infrared absorption, or there may be a realized scattering in this particular region of a wavelength. So we can use <coughs> a different material or a different composition to minimize that loss. If we consider that a non-oxide glass, instead of this particular oxide glass here, if we consider the non-oxide glass, in that case, if we consider a non-oxide glass that is 
or we can say that material of what we say fluorides <coughs> and a chloride okay so in that case the infrared absorption that peak of this particular infrared absorption that will be occur at a different wavelength so suppose for the glass silica that is GO2 this one is about a graph we say that is about the absorption takes place at the 0.8 to 1.7 micrometer of a wavelength this is about we can say that is about a 1.8 micrometer of a wavelength <coughs> that is about a loss so from that if you consider that a total loss so here it start decreasing here it will be more here and this will be higher so this is about a total loss here. so if you find out here that loss for this given particular wavelength 0.82 or we can say that 1.8 micrometer of a wavelength there will be a loss of this particular material if you consider that fluoride or a chloride then that infrared absorption will be occur up to the peak of 50 micrometer of a wavelength <coughs> or we can say that so different composition of a material so they have the different attenuations at a different wavelength so that's why we need to consider the one table so in that particular table how much is the absorption occur at the respective <coughs> wavelength we need to be see here so we consider here a material composition so for example if you consider that <coughs> a chromium now okay cr3 plus here and that is about a wavelength or we can say a peak wavelength and that is about a one part in 10 to the 9 dv per kilometer so this one is about a given it is about a dv per kilometer so that's why how much is the <coughs> alternation takes place for this given material so if it is working for the 625 nanometer of a wavelength so there will be 1.6 okay that is a part of 10 to the 9 dB per kilometer of a so that's why different compositions have a different alternation here okay now then a material composition we consider that <coughs> that is about a chromium okay or you can say that copper here we can have the different material so it has a 850 nanometer of a wavelength and it has a 1.1 part of a attenuation there that will be all the attenuation we can say that will be for the near infrared region this will be the attenuation for the near infrared so here fe2 plus I think one more we need to add, I, I forgot here one more here c2 plus it has a 685 nanometer of wavelength and at which is about 0.1 fe2 plus this is about a 1100 nanometer of a wavelength okay and it has a <coughs> 0.86 0.68 is the attenuation then a fe3 plus 400 nanometer at 0.15 then Ni2 plus it has a <coughs> 650 nanometer of a wavelength and the attenuation is of a 0.1. Manganese we have Mn3 plus 460 and a 0.2 there a nanometer. Okay, everything is about a nanometer there. 4 plus 725 nanometer and that is probably 2.8 now if you see that these are about the wavelength at the different wavelength 
with the different okay ion compositions okay or you can say that different ion impurities in the glass okay different ion impurities in the glass and because of the different ion impurities in the glass there may be absorption in the fiber at a different wavelength okay at a means at this peak wavelength at this particular peak wavelength there may be attenuation okay of this particular fiber there so this table will show you the absorption loss that will be caused by some of the metallic ion impurities in a glass and that gives you the absorption at this particular peak wavelength 